Listen up, guys. A word to the wise. Your children are listening to dead people. If your children are listening to rap music, let me take that last word out, music. If your children are listening to rap, someone rapping, they're listening to dead people. First and foremost, you must sell your soul for anyone to even produce you. Reason being is because you're not allowed to say anything positive that would uplift a child. You see, back when hip hop, those guys weren't hip hoppers. They were artists. They were MCs, masters of ceremonies. There's a difference. When you're talking about thugs and gangsters and pants sagging off your ass with gold chains on that mean nothing, yet resemble a leash with someone pulling you in a direction that you really don't want to go, but you do it for the dough, you're dead. If you're calling your women hoes and bitches and all this other derogatory, how could you ever love her or your mother? Let that sink in. Women, men, males, females. Stop letting your children listen to this garbage produced by dead people and wrapped out by dead people. Nothing but dead people. You're listening to dead people. They're soulless. Their souls belong to someone else. If you like Drake or Lamar or Kendrick, and they talk about each other to get you hyped up the competition. They all working for the same universal group. Remember that. Remember that. And it's all like a game. The same way they did with Tupac and Biggie. Who also sold their souls. If you don't sell your soul, you don't have a story to tell. Because no one will tell it. Now, if you are talking about something that has a message filling the mess of ages, you will never hear them on the radio because they don't want you to be awakened to the reptilian consciousness that humanity has to resist. Let that sink in. If you're learning all these songs by these rappers, you're listening to debt people. Take that, hold that, and let that be that. Parents, teach your kids what they're listening to. I approve this message.